guys. All right, we're joined by Melvin Gordon of Kenosha Bradford. And Melvin, uh, a busy weekend for you, I guess. How would you sum it up? I know it had its highs and it had its lows. Oh uh, yeah, got second in the long jump. Uh, Josh Dixon beat me with a 23-9, so that was kind of heartbreaking. Um, for the relays, we came in seventh. We seeded pretty bad. We was in the uh, lane one, so you know, that curve was pretty hard. And uh, four by one, was hoping to win that, but uh, other teams outran us and we came on short. Well, it's a, a great com culmination of a high school career this weekend. I guess uh, you, does it seem hard to believe it's uh, it's coming to an end? Yeah, it's hard to hard to realize that it's over, but. Uh, you know, it's time to move on. It's life. I'm ready for the college game now. Well, and a lot of people are ready for you to come to Wisconsin. Yeah. And you're sporting the Badger hat today, and yeah. I saw Wayne had the uh, the Michigan State hat, and, and uh, you guys are, uh, like you say, moving on to a different chapter. What excites yeah. you the most about coming up to Madison? Um, just making a statement, you know, just showing everyone, you know, that I could be the best back or, you know, just the Badgers can be the best team in the nation. Were you uh, surprised when Zach made his decision? When who? Uh, when Brown decided to transfer? Uh, yeah, I was kind of surprised by that. Um, you know, I was hoping to, you know, play under him a little bit, you know, see what they got, you know, try to outbeat some guys or something like that. But sure. uh, it'd been fun watching them play. But uh, I guess he had to do what was right for him. Well, I mean, it probably says a lot about, you know, what they've got back and with you coming in, what's coming up too. I, yeah. I mean, that must make you feel pretty good. Yeah, it makes me feel pretty good. You know, uh, playing behind Mike uh, Moneyball and James White. When I'm practicing every day, uh, you know, it really makes me practice harder. Because, you know, I, you know that's, that's how the game is, competition. So, with them guys ahead of me, with their talent level, me practicing with them every day, it's going to do nothing but up my game. Well, and I think a lot of the Badger fans that saw you here this weekend, and there are a lot of them up there in the stands, uh, uh, must like what they see. I mean, obviously, you've you got a chance here without football gear on to show them, you know, how physically built you are. Is uh, Do a lot of people, are they surprised at uh, what you bring to the table athletically? Uh, I think so. Uh. Uh, a lot of people come to me saying I'm pretty big or whatnot. Uh, you know, just congratulate me on how I'm doing. So uh, I guess I got a lot of fans. Was the track and field season rewarding for you? Did you were you glad you went out? Oh uh, yeah, I'm glad I went out. I feel like it helped my speed a little bit uh, and just helped me prepare for the next level. A lot of uh, your future teammates here this weekend. Uh, you know, Willis and and uh, I see Derek Watt won a state title today. Uh -huh. uh, did you get to hang around with them at all? Are you excited with all this athleticism coming into the Badgers? Oh, I don't yeah. know if, I've, if we've ever seen this many future football players here at the state track meet. Oh, no, no. I don't think it have been this many, but uh, I think I talked to Fred, I seen Sam, and I spoke to Derek for a little bit, but uh, I guess we conversated here and there, but, yeah. you know, we just been focused on what we had to do today, so we couldn't really talk much. And uh, when do you head up to Madison? Monday. Monday? Yeah. That's what Fred said, too. That starts pretty quick, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Are you ready for it? I am. I think they're ready for you. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Melvin.